The PCV valve on the 2004 WRX STI is right here. The valve is inside a black housing that shouldn't be tampered with. You can replace that whole unit as one. I might even give you the part number here and a small picture of it. So say you can't get your hands on one of those. Here's a way to clean it. I'm going to show you how to do it right here. If your oil changes aren't regular, your PCV valve might get gummed up from the oil. So I'm going to show you how to clean it with some WD-40. First off, you're going to have to remove the two 12 millimeter bolts on either side of the intercooler that hold the intercooler to its brackets. Next, you undo the hoses, ventilation, and then there's two 12 millimeters and a gasket for the bypass valve. Then you want to go ahead and remove the turbo to intercooler and then the throttle body to intercooler and lift the intercooler up out of its place. If these hoses are giving you a problem, there's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold this whole entire bracket on and you can lift the intercooler up. So we've made it this far. There's a few hoses you need to take off and then you can lift that assembly up. Urgh, these clamps. Yeah, I got mods, bruh. So you're going to run into contact with these little guys right here. They are a complete pain. One side's usually painted with something. Here it has a little pink on it. Cherry blossom red, if you will, for the STI. And the part that does not is pretty much the part that you want to grab because it overlaps in here. So they're a serious pain. But once you do, you can... Stick something in there, stick a pick in there, kind of like this, you stick it in that, but this will spread it apart. So if you've got a nice pick or something, you can get it in there with it on the car, and then to close them again, you just once again take a little bit of the meat of the And that's closed. Well, that's that's pretty much two ways you can get at those. You're gonna run into two more of those clamps, this black housing. I've already swapped it out with a worm drive just to make it easier. All right, once that's set, you can just. I put a worm drive clamp on that rubber hose the PCV valve came from. All right, here's what it looks like. This larger part is the one that went into the head there. And this is the one that goes up to your inlet. And this goes under to your intake manifold. They suggest you not take this out of here because you can break the housing. And if you do, you'll have a vacuum leak. So you do want to be really careful and you want to inspect the housing as well when it's out. This should rattle. Like it does pretty freely. So this, this PCV valve, it's good. But uh, we're going to clean it again. Simple WD-40, man. I'm not even joking. It doesn't, it doesn't damage anything inside. All in there. And then shake it around. Care how much more freer it sounds. Hope that helps. That's how you clean the PCV valve. Once again, thanks for all the subscriptions. I've got a steady flow rate of subscriptions. All right, everyone, support the troops. We've got some new projects lined up, so stay tuned. Take care.